Hello everyone, welcome back to the World Cup in Qatar. It's finals day, Germany versus Brazil for the World Cup. And we have home advantage, amazingly. It's being played at the Allianz Arena. Sorry, the Allianz Stadium. Uh, I always get those two mixed up, so I don't know which club's home ground that is. But it is definitely in Germany. Also news that Manchester United have signed Pepe. So there is a uh, top quality centre forward taken off of the market. We should probably have a look, New as Newcastle, we should have a look at Manchester United and see if perhaps they have a defender that they don't want anymore. But that is probably for another video. Today we are concerned purely with what is going on at the Alliance Stadium where Germany are doing their best to win the fifth World Cup in their history. Just before we get to that though, we have had an offer from a team for Danny Alves. Leicester would like to loan him for the season. And when you see, hang on, club team, when you see the offer they've made, I think you'll be pleased. So we already said before that Juan Fran's going to be staying with us this season. Uh, if you look at the two players, he's just slightly better defensively. And uh, where it comes to going forward, he, I mean, he's not as good as Danny Alves going forward, but he's quicker. He's definitely quicker uh, and he can defend more. And, and that primarily is what I want is a right back and a left back who can defend. If they can't get forward so much, never mind. We have more than enough talent in the squad that we're able to uh, take care of the attacking side of the game. But here's the important thing. Danny Alves, an offer from Leicester City to loan him out for one year and they're going to pay us £10 million for the privilege. abso freaking lootly You're going to Leicester for a season, mate. Have a good one. We need that money because we're going to be signing some players. We have, uh, I think I've already mentioned we've had the offer from Colorado Rapids for Bodmer for the season. Uh, I still haven't had any bids accepted for a replacement player for Bodmer. So we're going to have them hang around for a uh, for an answer. We're not going to give them an answer yet. But of course, by the time the season starts, you'll all know what's happened. Right now, however, as said before, it is time for the World Cup final. The most important game in Germany's history. Chance for them to win their fifth World Cup in a row. And unfortunately, as you may have noticed from the news, we're without Leroy Sane, who is out for five days with an injury. So that means that Serge Gnabry is given a recall to the side. Draxler will possibly come on later. Uh, but then he could easily come on for Royce or Havertz as well as Gnabry. It's just that he's one of those players that's able to play in a multitude of positions. And really that kind of results in uh, players like Draxler. Sometimes being left by the wayside for more specialised players. We have a quick look at who else is available to us. I don't see the need to make any changes elsewhere. I think we're going to go with pretty much the team that got us here. The traditional kits, the black and white of Germany, the blue, yellow and green of Brazil. Look at that lineup. Edison in goal, Marquinhos, Eder, Militao, Marcelo and Allen. Fernandinho, the captain, Casemiro, Neymar, Coutinho, Talisco, and Bobby Firmino playing in a World Cup final for Brazil. His career in, at Liverpool has really done him wonders internationally. Right, let's get this done. Now, so far in finals, we're not doing particularly well. We're, we're batting... Nought for one at the moment. <laughs> We've won the league. We, we can do leagues. But where it comes to knockout competitions, finals, could be... Oh, well, that's embarrassing. We're not in Germany at all, are we? Of course not. The Allianz Stadium is, of course, the name of Juventus' stadium. Allianz Arena must be the name of the Bayern Munich Stadium. So for all of you that were shouting at me that I'm a complete idiot, I apologise and thank you for correcting me. 
for all of you that thought the same as me that we were in Germany, well, nobody's more red-faced than I am, and at least you don't have to admit to it. Although if you do want to admit to it in the comments, that'd make me feel better. Look at that, a sea of white and yellow. Supporters of the two teams turning out in their droves for this most important match. We are going to listen to the national anthems. I like the Brazilian kit. It's nice and simple. They haven't tried to be overly elaborate. Something that the German kit has in common with it. And of course you can see there the four stars above the German national team crest signifying every World Cup that they've lifted and today we're going to be playing for that fifth star. Brazil lining up in a 4-2-3-1 formation. They're going to be very strong in the centre of the park. Okay, all settled and now just waiting for kickoff. And here we go, World Cup final in Qatar is a go. The 2022 World Cup is underway. It's a good start for Germany, it's just been muscled out there though, but that's all right. We keep hold of the ball, early cross in, this could be a chance. Brazil now on the break and they have some very rapid players in their team. They, we need to be careful about their pace on the counter. They're able to spread the play very well, very quickly, very efficiently. That's well, a good shot. Goalkeeper able to handle it quite easily. Shots from that kind of distance not necessarily going to be trouble for Tostegan. He's a good goalkeeper. He might not like crosses too much. He's a bit on the short side. Ah, it's well won. And there's a chance here for Germany. And it's a goal. Timo Werner with probably the simplest goal that he will score in this tournament. Excuse me. And it's all down to the strength of his buddy on the left-hand side there, winning the ball from the Brazilian right-back. Just plays a simple ball across the box. Werner takes one touch to control it and then rolls it in with his right foot. And early on, Germany, the first team to strike, and it's 1-0. Brazil will be looking to get back into this game very, very quickly. I expect them to... Uh, oh, hello! Oh, my word. Nabry just so slow on the ball there, and he knocked it way too far ahead of himself. Brazil able to take control of it quite easily. Ah, oh, no. Just running straight at the defenders, making it too easy for them, really. I think we may have got a free kick out of this, though. Indeed, we have. I mean, that's very harsh, but I'm glad to be getting the decisions my way for once. Going to go for it. 
Oh, it's gone in! Royce with the goal. A beautifully flighted free kick over the Brazilian wall. They jumped but not high enough. And the ball curled into the top left-hand corner of the net. Nothing that Edison could do about it. And Germany have taken a commanding two goals to nil lead after just 16 minutes of play. Well won again. Germany now on the break once more. Timo Werner looking to get beyond his man and he has done and this could be a chance for Werner for a third for Germany. It's a good save by the goalkeeper but he's going to be a... Oh no. The cross not good enough. I thought maybe he'd struggle to get back to his goal in time. Oh the overlaps work wonders for Brazil. They got a chance here. Now Germany on the break. This game already so stretched. That's not a good pass at all. Good strength by the German midfielder to keep hold of the ball there. Brazil looking a little bit hesitant all of a sudden. They're not breaking as you would expect them to with uh, the deficit of 2-0. They really need to get a move on if they want to win this game. If they want to even get it back to a draw, they're going to have to score very quickly. At the moment, I would dare to say perhaps that they're being a little bit too patient. That's nice. That's very nice. Oh, everything until the finish. Nicely executed. Well done. Ball worked out wide. A nice little chip inside. Setting up the chance for Timo Werner. Edison too, go too good in the end. Headed chance. No. It's a shot. Easy for the goalkeeper. Drops down to his feet. That's well won in midfield by Brazil. They do have the extra numbers. This could be a chance. I think it's gone for a corner kick. It has indeed. Need to be alive to the possibility that they could get one back here. Well done, goalkeeper. I was saying to Stegen was not good at crosses and he proves me wrong by coming out and punching that one clear. That's the goalkeepers. Nicely taken. He really is making me eat crow here. That's a nice one too. Nabry's got a chance here to cross it in. He does. It's a header. It's gone just wide. And that's the final act of a, uh, a pretty good first half for Germany. They're leading 2-0. It looked like it might be a bit of a rout after 16 minutes. The second shot going in. Looking at the stats there, you can see that the passing has been pretty similar. In fact, it's been a very even game. The only difference really being that Germany have made a lot more of their possession than the Brazilians have. 2-0 half-time.
Don't want to let up the pressure on them. Give them an opportunity to get back into it and they will take it. Ah, nearly. It's looking for the reverse ball. Oh, hello. This could be something. Except that I hit the pass button instead of the shoot button. That's a little bit embarrassing. Julian Brandt will get over it in time. But uh, right now he's got to have a redder face than I did when I said that this stadium was in Germany. Oof. Nearly an interception. It's good passing play by Brazil. They could get a chance out of this. They're going to try and cross it in. They have got a cross in. The header, it's just gone over. It would have taken something for that to end up in the back of the net. Just going to lob it up. Hopefully Timo Werner can do a job. Oh, and he does. He's so strong in the air there. Oh. Brazil not doing a good job of defending, so we do it for them. Good cross. Oh, no. Thought he might be taking the shot first time, but the ball was just away from him. Germany recycled the ball, though. That's good pressure from Nabry. It's what you want to see. And the counter is on. Ah, he just checked his run when he shouldn't have Werner. He thought that that ball had been intercepted. Good tackle. Not the best pass though. Nabry passed immediately into trouble. Surrounded by two or three Brazilians. That's a very good interception. Oh, hello! 3-0! Timo Werner, first touch. Didn't even have to set himself. It was a well-weighted through ball. And he tucks it into the net. The goalkeeper will be disappointed. He got a touch on it. He should have done better. But that was a beautifully weighted ball. A good finish. And really a little bit of poor defending from the goalkeeper. He couldn't get his hands up quick enough. And it's just come off of him. And at 3-0 now, I'm really thinking about bringing substitutes on. Who deserves a game? I would bring Muller on, except look at him. <laughs> He's a red arrow. I'll tell you what, though. 3-0. Worst case scenario... We'll have to uh, do a Duncan Ferguson and uh, substitute the substitute later. But we're going to give him an opportunity. Werner won't be happy. Sitting on two goals. He wanted to go in for his hat-trick. That's gone out of play. Nice and easy. No need to chase that one. Not a bad idea. He's not going to get to it, unfortunately. If that was weighted a little bit better, could have at least challenged for it. Allen coming off. Emerson coming on for Brazil. Surprised that Joel Linton isn't playing for them. 
Is he even on the? Is he even in the squad? No, not even in the squad. Vinicius Junior is. I wonder if we'll see Vinicius Junior playing against us today. Oh, that's nice. Everything until that final ball looking very nice indeed. Just finding it difficult to get that final ball. Oh, that's a, too easy. Too easy. 4-0. Havertz on the score sheet. Cheeky finish with the outside of his left foot. Brazil just leaving far too much room in behind the full backs and the centre backs. And it was all too easy for the attacking midfielder to wander through and get his name on the score sheet. Felipe Anderson coming on for Coutinho now. And really, this is uh, this is looking pretty bad for Brazil. 4-0 down. It's no seven-goal score, score line. Don't get me wrong. It's not that embarrassing for them. But 4-0 in the final of a World Cup. That's not good. And it could be more. It could be much more. It's five. Julian Brandt, first goal of the game. And he's deserved it. He's played well today. And this is getting embarrassing. Brazil all over the place. Only one defender behind the ball when it's played into Brandt. That's all that he needed. What are the Brazilians doing? Oh, and that's a fantastic finish. He steps over the ball with his right, allows it to run through his legs and sweeps it home with his left. Didn't even notice that until the last replay. Uh-oh. Ooh, it could have been six. It probably should have been six. Where are the Brazilian defence? And frankly, who cares? It's a loose pass there. Germany not punished for it though. Oh, except that the Brazilians managed to pick it up off the toe of a German player. And bless them, they're looking for a goal. They're not going to get one now. Muller ploughing a very lonely furrow there. Oh, Brazil could have got one back. And honestly, I would have been pretty angry about that. But as it is, there we go. What a result in the final. 5-0 to Germany. It's a World Cup winner's medal for Hummels on his last appearance in a World Cup. We imagine. It's a first cup for us it's a fifth for Germany World Cup Funf done it mate
absolute scenes in Italy as Germany lift their fifth World Cup trophy. It looks different to the previous ones, but it still means the same to those players. They've beaten the best teams from around the world to get here. And they've beaten one of the best teams to win the game and to win the trophy in the final. Schultz and Henrik's not really in the game, hence the 5.0 ratings. Everyone else, I think, a little bit harshly rated, to be honest with you. I, uh, I don't see why any of them should be getting the same ratings as anyone in the Brazilian team. But it really, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that final result. Five goals, five World Cup trophies. And there we are. We are all done. Italy ended up winning the third place playoff to get the bronze medal for their country. Spain falling just short, unfortunately, for them. And so there we are. That is the end of our World Cup journey. I'll be resigning my post as uh, soon as uh, that option becomes available to me. We won't be seeing any more Germany videos on this channel for a little while at least. Uh, I don't know if I'll pick up another international role. Perhaps I'll look to try and pick up a, a few other trophies in other areas. But for now, that's going to do it for another episode. Thank you for joining me on this happiest of uh, instalments. Until next time, when we get back into it with Newcastle United, thank you for joining me. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.